Hi, welcome to this video brought to you by Maths from Scratch. This is column method multiplying level three, and this follows on from level one and level two in the column method multiplying playlist. Now this playlist teaches you column method multiplying from scratch. So if you've never ever done column method multiplying before, start at level one and then work up to this one. So this is level three, and how this changes from level two is that in this video, we're gonna introduce the concept of, of carrying. Okay, now as always with maths, it's best just to see an example, so let's start. So from level two, you know how to approach this question now. So we're gonna start with the nine and multiply upwards. So nine multiplied by two, that gives us 18. And now this is where level two, level three, I beg your pardon, this is where level three is different. It's because now this gives us a two digit number. Whereas in level one, the answer to this was a single digit and we could just write it in there, no bother. Whereas this is two digits. So this is where we have to do a carry. Now, this we're gonna write 18, now it's gonna look a bit strange. We write 18 like this, okay? We write it diagonally and we carry the one into the next column, okay? So you can see that becomes an 18. If you've never done this before, this is slightly strange at first, but like anything, a bit of practice and this will be second nature. So two, time nine, two times nine gives me an 18. And then the second part of this algorithm or this process is it would then multiply nine times one. Okay, so that gives us nine. Then we're gonna add that one. So that gives me an answer of 10. Then again, from level one and level two, if this is a two digit number, we know we're allowed to expand into the hundreds column there. So the answer to the first one is 108. And you can see we've just introduced this idea of carrying. If we move on to question two, so we've got seven times one, so we'll multiply upwards, and that gives me an answer of seven. And then the second part, we're gonna multiply across seven lots of three, and that gives me a 21. And again, it's a two digit number, and so we can write that underneath there. So 217 is the answer to question two. To make this method really easy, I know I keep saying it, but just get good at your times tables. There's no shortcut to being able to multiply quickly you have to just learn your times tables off by heart and this will just be a non-event. It'll be so easy after a while that you probably think, how did you live your life without it? And the answer is, you can't really. So two times four gives me an eight, or four times two is an eight. And we multiply across. So again, because this is a four digit number from level two, you know how to approach these, multiply across. Now four times six, that gives me an answer of 24. So I need to write the two just tiny in the hundreds column there and then write the four underneath the six. And now the next one is four times nine, which gives me an answer of 36. But then I add that two, and so that gives me a 38. Then we need to carry the three again into that column. So you really do need to have your wits about you on this. And then the last one is four times four is 16. It's pretty hard to see the three there, but it is a three. So four, add, four times four is 16, add that three, and then that becomes a 19. Now. If you're not properly concentrating on these, it's so easy to make a mistake. So my advice would be just to be steady away and don't try and rush through these. So that's the answer to question number three. If we have a look at question number four then. And just before we move on to question four, I think it's good just to point out that these carries can occur anywhere. There's no, there's no pattern as to where they occur. So they can occur in the tens column, hundreds column, thousands column. All that happens is that if the answer is a two digit number, you are gonna get a carry, okay? And you can also have more than one. So you do need to have your wits about you to make sure that you don't just make a silly mistake. So if we look at question number four, five times nine, well that gives me a 45. So I'm ready to write the four in the tens column and write the five under there. So I'm carrying the tens. So I've done the first one. Now it's nine times four, which gives me 36. Now 36 add four is 40. So then I need to then write that as a two digit number, right in the zero under there, okay? Next one, three times nine is 27. Add the four gives me a 31. So now in this time, we've got three that we need to carry. And then nine times one, that's nine, add the three. And so that's gonna give me 12. And then because that's a two digit number, that can then move across into the 10 thousands column. So you can see quite quickly, these can become fairly fruity with the carries if you've got a big number there. Move on to question number five. So this is where it gets silly because we've got some numbers in the hundred thousands, but the method works no matter how big the number is. So I think it's fairly good that we get to see these. So you can see how it works in all these situations. So three times seven is 21. So remember from level two, we're just gonna fan out. So three times seven is 21, carry two, Write the one. 
3 times 6 gives me an 18, so then that becomes a 20. So it's going to be the 2 that I need to carry and write the 0 under that column. 4 times 3 is 12, add the 2 gives me 14. So I'm now going to carry the 1 and write the 4 under there. 3 times 3, remember to always go back to this digit here. 3 times 3 is 9, add the 1 is 10. So I'm going to carry the 1 and write the 0. 2 times 3 is 6, add the 1 is 7, and then 6 times 3 is 18. And that's a two-digit number, so that will go across there. So you can see straight away, once you get the hang of this carrying process, you can then multiply numbers by a single digit. Level 6 then, question 6 even. Now, 9 times table, we need to be good at here to understand this one. So, again, process. You're going to start with the 9, and we're going to kind of keep going backwards and forwards, multiplying by the single digit. So, 9 times 1 is 9, fairly straightforward. 9 times 2 gives me an answer of 18, so I'm going to carry the 1 and write the 8 underneath the 2. 9 times 3 is 27, add the 1 is 28, so I'm going to carry the 2 and write the 8 underneath that one. Again, pay particular attention to the columns. 5 times 9 is 45, add the 2 gives me 47. Carry the 4, write the 7 underneath the 5. 8 9s, so 8 9s is 72. Add the 4, gives me 76. Carry the 7, write the 6 underneath. And then 4 9s, that's going to give me 36. Then we're going to add the 7, and so that gives me 43. And then we write that as a two-digit number there. So we're allowed to go into the preceding column. So that's level 3. So this now introduces the idea of that you can carry whilst doing a column multiply. So now you've had a watch of that video, why don't you have a go at these practice questions and see how you get on. Keep your wits about you with the carrying because it's not easy at first. Have a go at those. There is an answer walkthrough video that accompanies this so you can find that in the playlist. That's called Column Method Multiplying Level 3, the answer walkthrough. Have a go at those, see how you get on and I'll see you in Level 4. Thanks for watching.